Something that was discussed at TC39 that I'd really like to see in JavaScript is declarations in conditionals. Like, take this example. Here's some dumb regex to get the, the bit before .jpg in a path. But if there's no match, result will be null, so I need to use a conditional before handling the value. This means the result variable is outside the scope of the conditional, even though it's only useful inside it. The proposal is to allow the declaration inside the conditional like this. And now the result variable is scoped to the conditional block, and the block only runs if result is truthy. But sometimes the conditional check isn't that simple. For example, if I'm dealing with an iterator, like this doesn't work because result is always truthy. So the proposal includes a way to add a separate condition like this. And this same pattern is also going to be available inside while loops as well. Like this feature already exists in other languages like C, Go, Rust, and Swift. But unfortunately, it did not proceed to stage two at the last TC39 meeting. And it's all down to this. Should the result be available in the else block? In C and Go, yes, it is. In Rust and Swift, no, it isn't. And there was no consensus on what to do in JavaScript. Now, I don't have strong feelings on this, but Rust used to have exposed a variable in the else block, but they made a breaking change to remove it. And I think there's a lesson to be learned there. Like, for instance, a newish feature of JavaScript is disposables. Like, these are variables that call the object's dispose logic at the end of the current scope. They're supported in Firefox and Chrome, but not yet in Safari. So don't worry too much if you haven't heard of them. But assuming they could be used with this proposed feature, when should the dispose logic run if resource.valid is false? And it feels to me like it should run before the else block. And before they made the change, Rust folks were creating surprise deadlocks because they expected the resource to be freed before the else block, but it wasn't. And that's why they made the breaking change, to scope the variable only to the if block. Hopefully this can be resolved because I think this would be a nice feature to have in JavaScript. So what do you think? Should the variable be available in the else block? Let me know in the replies.